Welcome back to another Tool Time. My name is Jason Haddix, and today we're going to talk about parsing cloud ranges for recon. And what this means is we're basically going to look at a whole bunch of ranges that, uh, you know, the address space is publicly available, and there's some sources that have already downloaded it for us. And we're going to look at those ranges, and we're going to attempt to just grep out subdomains and domains for our target using just simple tools like grep. And so um, this was asked to me by one of my users uh, in a YouTube comment and as well um, was provided to me when I did my video on SSL, SSL certificate inspection methods, right? And so this is similarly similarly related to that. And so we're going to go in that, uh, we're going to go into that today. Oh, shoot, forgot to take my Stoke shades off. There we go. Okay, so like I said, one of my users on YouTube commented and asked how we do this and uh, basically want to take the big cloud data. And um, I had been downloading kind of a directory of just AWS stuff to my box, but then a tweet follower tweeted me a while back on my SSL certificate inspection video and was talking about, hey, I collect regularly all the SNIs from the big clouds that exist. So SNIs are descriptions uh, of descriptions of domains inside of certificate data as well. And so uh, he has a domain here that if we go to, um, he has them all pulled every day, which is pretty amazing. He has Amazon, DigitalOcean, Google, Microsoft, and Oracle, right? So uh, we're gonna take these and we're gonna put them on our Linux box and we're gonna go ahead and just uh, play with this data a little bit and try to pull out some uh, domains that, uh, that belong to targets in the bug bounty space. The thing here that uh, we're doing this for, right, is that normally when I go after a target, uh, and something I mentioned in the SSL video was that, hey, uh, we're gonna use, we're gonna start with their ASN numbers, right, which is their autonomous system numbers, and their ASN numbers are published IP space that they own. Uh, it's different in the cloud world, right? A uh, cloud world, they don't own that. That's not assigned to their ASN, and so. Uh, you have to use other methods to enumerate your user's cloud infrastructure. And so this is one of the ways we can do that. Now, if you're using something like cert.sh or one of these other databases, there's a possibility they have all this information already. They're going out and parsing SNI data uh, from SSL certificates on these clouds. Um, but it's always good to know how to do it yourself. This information is pulled daily, so you won't have to pay for uh, like one of the big subscription fees. And it's really easy to do on the command line. So let's check it out. Okay, so if we go in here and we check out like Amazon, here is their IPv4, IPv4 SNI space, right? And so you can see it associates domain names that are in the space. It's pulled every day to the IP address. And you can see some of them also are asterisks so that the certificate applies to anything as a subdomain of this. We'll talk about this a little bit later when I get some results back. Okay, so you see here that I've pulled all these files down into a directory on my uh my box right so remember this is all the cloud certificate data that they pull and they're they're pretty large excuse me files so you'll have to grab them and uh, download them it takes a little bit and then upload them to your vps or you can curl them directly to your vps i i downloaded them to windows for some reason and upload them that's because i'm a windows noob anyway uh so we've got them in a folder here on my box arcanum and it's really pretty simple so we can cat out any of these um like let's just cat out amazon uh, or IPv4 is Amazon. Oh, I wish I could do that. IPv4, yay. There we go. Okay, so you can see we get all that data. So let's just choose a bug bounty target, right? So let's grep Tesla. Simple as that, right? So now we have a whole bunch of um, IPs in the cloud ranges that have SSL certificates that have Tesla, the keyword Tesla somewhere in them. And this is really great. And some of these have multiple subdomains applied to one certificate. Um, so what are we gonna do here? Uh, well, we'll just use some, you know, grep and cut magic, I think, to try to get out what we want. And so uh, if I do grep Tesla, and then I just do cut dash D, uh, and this is the ghetto way to do it, I use cut and multiple cuts instead of learning uh, you know, proper command line foo. That's okay, that's just me. Uh, we're gonna cut by the delimiter uh, uh, brackets and we're gonna say field one. Oop, that's the IP space. We're gonna say field two. 
Cool. There's all the domains. Uh, and then we'll just pipe it into another cut. And we'll do dash D. And we'll do the other bracket. And we'll say field one here. And that'll give us everything between the brackets. Cool. So now we have all the domains. And let's just uh, sort and unique that. Cool. Now we have a whole bunch of stuff that resolves to Tesla or that, that has Tesla in the domain uh, somewhere, whether as a component of the subdomain or the domain. This is all parsed out of certificates on the cloud. So you can see like you're going to have to be judicious about what you pull out of here because a lot of this isn't Tesla. But we have like a domain called Tesla Services and like, hey, did we know that Tesla Services was a thing? Is that Tesla? I don't know. Let's let's go check it out. So if we go Tesla.services uh in a browser hold on does not resolve so what else we got here could be an internal domain you never know so let's try tesla.com just to get subdomains on the on the main domain maybe that'll reel it in a little bit for us Uh, we're going to go grep. Okay. It's a little bit less. So we've got tesla.com.br, billing.tesla.com, Kronos Dev, uh, Tesla Comms toolbox yeah so we've got some information here um you can also see that there are some top level domains here like tesla.com.br this might be a dns redirect nope this is a computing company good to know Try chronos.dev, see what that is. Hey, so blank IIS page. A lot of people ask, like, what do you do when you get to this point, right? The only thing you can do at this point is throw some word lists at it for content discovery, right? You're not going to, you're not really going to find anything on a default IIS page, right? Um, and you also could search the Wayback and um, the Wayback Archive and Alien Vaults. Alien Vault's uh, historical archive data for any domain. So you could pass this domain to Gao, which is a tool that searches both of the source written by Corbin Leo. And you could attempt to find URLs that have been cached on the internet, maybe, for this domain. And you can also brute force it for content. Um, but we found that in our SNI IP ranges. So anyway, this is the domain. I'll put it in the description where the uh, SNI data is, is set. Uh, I will leave it up to the... Uh, the watcher to do your own command line foo to parse out what you think is relevant. But this is how to go about finding your targets, um, your targets uh, domain space in the cloud and what they have hosted there, which won't be in their ASN. All right, one more thing I said I would tell you about is uh, pay special attention to the domains that are parsed out of this information that have asterisks, right? So I'm going to run uh, one more thing here, and I'm going to use Yahoo as an example here. So you can see I'm catting the Amazon data set, uh, I'm grepping yahoo.com, and then cutting out the values and sorting and unique them. Okay, so we get a lot of stuff here um, that possibly is AOL or Yahoo. Obviously, everybody knows they're part of the same organization. If you scroll up a little bit, you'll see some wildcard domains here, right, which are which are like, it's not the right word, they're subdomains, but they're like sub subdomains. Like you can see it's asterisk, whatever, right? And so these are especially important to pay attention to because if we just grep, uh, grep the asterisk ones, um, these are usually uh, domains that people really haven't done subdomain enumeration on, right? So, um, so although we're getting some fully fledged subdomains of Yahoo here, like C2, SHB, blah, 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 right? Like that's okay. But we can see some over here, like uh, AMP, Commerce, whatever. I would feed this to another tool that would do subdomain enumeration on this full string here. 
and it would find all of this these referenced other domains because this you know, asterisk is representing that maybe the certificate covers subdomains, meaning there is like a sub sub subdomain here. So you would feed this to something like a mass or subfinder, um, or look for it in any of your other tools that you're doing subdomain scraping for. And so, uh, yeah, and so this is really useful to find stuff for your main domain. You can see that some of these certificates are scoped to other domains that are um, Yahoo's, like VZ Builders and like some other stuff that we might want to look into. So it really is a treasure trove of information. All right, that's it for this week. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.